Congratulations on the film. Congratulations on your Golden Globe nomination. Thanks so much. For those who haven't seen, this is one of the great stunt driving films of the modern era. And is it true that you did some of the stunt driving? Yeah, I did all, all no, I did some of it. <laughs> yeah. I did, they didn't let me do that much stunt driving. So what would they let you do, like parallel park? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, they did not, definitely did not let no, me parallel gotcha. park, no. Just regular parking. <laughs> um, the problem, so I did like 10 stunt driving classes and I actually learned how to drive Oh, so like you did put the, the stuff. this is before the movie started, you put the work in. I put the yeah, work okay. in. I wanted to know how to drive like baby. Yeah. Um, but then when I actually got on set, uh, I, I was like, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? And I said, you're, you're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. We got Jamie Foxx in the car and John Hamm in the car. You're not doing anything. <laughs> right, yeah. You know what I mean? And then when Jamie Foxx and John Hamm weren't in the car, then they let me do stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So they well, didn't want to risk the whole cast. Yeah. <laughs> Just me. Just part of it, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, it certainly paid off. Uh, you, uh, you actually kept the car. Is this true? Because I, I don't think, I, I've never heard of this. I feel like in the Fast and Furious movies, they don't get to keep the car. Really? You don't think Vin Diesel has like a garage of like 100 of Of course he does. I don't know totally what I'm thinking. Does. Of course he does. Dude. <laughs> oh, no, I saw Vin Diesel on the bus. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> so you got to keep your car. Uh, what yes. kind of car is it? It's a Subaru WRX STI. It's, it's the one from the opening scene. Gotcha. And I, I just kept begging for them to let me have it. And I said, I'll buy it, I'll do whatever. And I just kept following up and emailing. That's how, if you want something in life, you just keep following up. <laughs> yeah. So the Go get them. Yeah. Yeah. I just kept emailing the producers and saying, hey, about that, that, that car, you know, I'm willing to pay for it. Let me get that car. And then months later, when it was my birthday, about six months later, they, they gave it to me. And they, you wore them down. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. That's really nice. Persevere. Yeah. I... Now, so that, for fans of the film, it must be an interesting thing to see you in the car from the movie. Yes. I mean, you know, you don't see uh, Christian Bale in the Batmobile. No. But, but now, my other question is, do people also, has anybody picked up on calling you baby yet? Uh, because... That is a, a, a obviously a unique name for a main character in a film. Yeah, I it, it's a little odd because people do call me baby now. Uh -huh. Like um, there's this deli around the corner of my house in Brooklyn, um, and the guys are nice, and they were always nice to me for the first two years that I've lived there and gone in there. But now I walk in there, and this dude from Yemen's like, "Hey, baby, <laughs> what do you want? You want the halal of a rice man?" <laughs> You know, hey, baby, come That's on, great. make a whole lot of a rifle, baby. I, uh, nothing would make me happier than if you found out he's never seen the film. <laughs> he just, that after, he's basically like, hey, you know, anyone, it turns out anyone that goes there for two years, he just feels comfortable enough with them to finally start calling them baby. Yeah, that uh, could be. Jamie Foxx, one of your cast uh, members, uh, castmates in the show, uh, the film. He, uh, he would DJ on set. This film is so tied to music, but he would actually DJ in between takes. Is that when he would do it? Yeah. He, d Jamie, so Jamie does DJ, and, and, and he wouldn't, you know, have turntables on set. Uh, but he, he would, you know, connect his boombox to his phone and start playing music between takes. And the whole crew loves it, especially on, like, late-night shoots. It'd be, like, 4 a.m., and people yeah. are tired, and it keeps the energy up. And he's good at it. He's a he's good DJ. He's great. And he also, you know, he sort of ad-libs, too. Uh -huh. He sort of does, like, the, yeah, come on! You know, oh, right. Like, he's, his own, he's his own hype man. Yeah, he yeah. hypes up the whole crew. It, it was really fun. So um, then I, I figured, like, that was a great thing to do on a set. And, then, and the next movie I did after Baby Driver was this movie called Jonathan. Uh -huh. um, and uh, the first day we were in a bar. So I actually found, like, uh, these turntables and, and a cord to plug my phone in. And I figured it would have a great sound system. And I thought, what would be a fun song to play for the crew? And this is a morning shoot, so it was a little early, about 6 a.m. Yeah. And I decided to play um, Hardaway, What is Love? You know, what is love? Yeah, sure. Baby, you know. So I plugged that in, and I didn't quite turn the sound down right away, and it, it blasted, what is love? And the whole crew starts looking yeah. like, what's going on? The first day, he's like, where's that music coming from? Where's the music coming from? <laughs> yeah. We find that, and I was like, oh, it's me, it's me. And like, Can you turn that off? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm not Jamie Foxx. I think, yeah, in general, uh, don't, I think for, for people like you and I, don't ever try to do the things Jamie Foxx is no. good at. Yeah. I mean, I try. Yeah. I will continue to try to yeah, do everything well, look, Jamie you, Fox Hey, does. you gave six months and you got that car. You can keep at this, too. Yeah. You know? uh, I'm a DJ on every set. I, uh, <laughs> eventually, it'll work. Uh